Hello, welcome to today's Azure haul. I did not end up sharing my Azure order from last month and there was one item that I really wanted to share. So I will add that in at the end of today's video. It's a new item. It's part of the Azure market brand and I am pumped about it. So I'll share that at the end of today's video. I have several new items that are new to Azure and ones that I haven't tried before. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I share all about homemaking and building your home economy. So I have a whole video on building your home economy, the breakdown of it. I will link that below. Um, and it's basically to me the foundation of what this channel is about. I also have a channel with my husband, but we've separated this so that way there would be like a girls only space, which includes grocery hauls. So my order is $287 and that includes the $22 for shipping. So to start out, if you've ever ordered from Azure, you will see that when things start to dwindle down, it'll say that there are three items left or six items left or 20 items left. And so you can know how much is left. So the Sierra Nevada cheese was on sale this month. I order this cheese every other month. I order two five pound blocks every other month. And this was the month that I needed to order some and it was on sale, so it was so perfect. And when I went to add it to my cart, all of them said there was 20 or 10 or one of the blocks, the five pound blocks left, and it wouldn't be coming in until the end of the month, which would be past the time when the truck would be sent out and on its way. So I figured my way around this was to add each cheese. So the medium cheddar I would add in, the sharp cheddar I would add in, and the pepper jack cheddar I would add in. And thoughts of, well, if one of them runs out, then I know I'll at least get one. And I figured that, that they would run out because the cheddars, I think there was like two left. There's also a button, if you didn't realize, if something says that it is sold out, you can click add to cart anyway, just in case it does come in early. So I think I did that with one of the cheddar cheeses. Well, <laughs> when the order went through, I never got an, an email that said incomplete order. And immediately I knew that all three of the cheeses must have come. So I did get 30 pounds of cheese unexpectedly. They must have got their Sierra Nevada cheese order in sooner than they thought they were going to because they shipped me all six five pound blocks of cheese, which works out fine. I'm not upset about it. It was on sale and the expiry date on them is next March of 2024. So I got the raw medium cheddar times two five pound blocks. And that is 59.26 for the both of them, which makes it about 590 per pound, which is very good deal for raw cheese. Another one that did come in was the raw Monterey Jack. So I got two of those and that is 58.33 for the both of them. Though if you've never had the raw Monterey Jack, it is more of a soft cheese. So I use it as an alternative to mozzarella cheese and this expiration is also March of 2024. And then I have the pepper jack cheese, which is amazing. If you've never had the Sierra Nevada pepper jack cheese, it is the, actually it's the raw jalapeno jack, but it tastes like pepper jack. You can see we've already dived into this one and eaten a lot of it. And this one is also February of 2024 expiration date. And this one was 63.22, which was a little bit more expensive. I believe this is a little bit more price per pound anyways. What I do when I get these blocks of cheese is we just open them like this and I cut what I need and then I fold the plastic back up and I have a bunch of these beeswax wraps and I wrap that around there and I have never had any trouble ever with the cheese going off, going moldy or anything. When I first started ordering these five pound blocks, I was really concerned about the cheese going off. So I would shred them up and put them in my silicone storage bags and I would put them in the freezer and that worked fine. I would just use that on pizza or lasagna. Then over time I stopped doing that and I just did this way of cutting away what I needed, covering up the rest, put it in the fridge, and I've never had any problems. And we have cheese pretty much every day or every other day, so I'm always cutting away at it. So it's not just like it's sitting there. And then again, with the other ones, the expiration date isn't until next year. And so they'll be fine just sitting 
in the fridge unopened. So this wasn't the plan to get this many of them, but I ended up getting them and they were on sale. So works out great. I'm happy about that. Then I got these two other Sierra Nevada cheeses. This one is the farmhouse cream cheese. It is organic and it's in this little tube. And this was $4.33 for seven ounces. And then I also got this Russian style farmer cheese with live probiotic cultures. It is the all natural Gina Marie. And this was $4.27. I haven't actually opened this yet. I liked that it had the live probiotic cultures. It says a nutritious alternative to cream cheese, soft and spreadable with a distinctive tangy flavor and a touch of richness. I'm pretty sure it was on sale. And even if it wasn't, it was not a bad price. $4 for 16 ounces of of probiotic cheese, I think that's a good deal. So that is all the cheese. You can see half of my order this month was cheese. <laughs> Another cold item that I got this month is the five pounds of organic blueberries. These are my favorite to get. They're in my freezer. I wasn't gonna get them out for this video because it's just a giant five pound bag of frozen blueberries. They're in excellent condition. They look great and the price of these are amazing. They are only $15.34 for a five pound bag, which is so good. That makes them around $3 a pound which is amazing for organic blueberries. We add these to our smoothie every morning. Next is the Carrington Farms Xanthan gum. This was $7.90 for a five ounce bag. Scott's friend was telling him how good Xanthan gum is in smoothies and milkshakes and it just makes it super creamy and smooth. So we bought it and had to try it. I did open it just to see the texture, but it's very, very fine. Um, but I haven't actually used it yet. Scott's mixed it in with his milkshakes and he said it was good so i made strawberry ice cream with the top of the cream that we get from the milk from our local dairy and with the strawberry ice cream he made a milkshake and added this into it and he said it was delicious so i think it's mainly used for it says like gluten-free baking it was 7.90 i had to try it and then if you watched my last azure video that i posted i bought these rice crisp puffs and i tried to make rice crispy treats with them and they would not turn out it was very frustrating but it was the puffy texture of the puffs it was i don't know why i got it so mixed up but one of you commented on my on that video and said that azure sells the edison granaries rice crisps which are crispy and not soft and this would be best to use. So I ordered it to make Rice Krispie Treats and I'm so excited about this and I already opened it up and it is in fact, it looks like the Rice Krispie cereals. This looks like the perfect alternative and the only ingredient is organic brown rice and the price of it is $12.58 for 28 ounces. So it is a little bit on the pricier side, but I think it is totally worth it. It says on here, use as an organic gluten-free twist on traditional Krispies treat recipe. And so I make my own homemade ma marshmallows. You basically do homemade marshmallows and then mix in some butter and then you mix in your rice crisps and you make homemade rice crispy treats so i'm very excited about trying this out i feel like there is going to be redemption with my rice crispy fail recipe i have not bought flour in over a year since i bought my grain mill i've only bought wheat berries i only use wheat, ber wheat berries i only use fresh milled flour for everything i make i never buy flour However, the reason I bought some of this organic einkorn flour, I didn't even pay attention to which grain because it wasn't really a huge concern to me. It was the unifying one, but I got this so I could make dehydrated or dried out sourdough starter because you cannot do that with fresh milled flour. It will definitely go off. I make my sourdough starter with fresh milled flour, which works perfect. I like doing it, but you really do have to keep, if you're gonna leave it out on your counter, you have to definitely feed it every day or it will go off and kind of be gross because fresh flour has everything in it. So it will not last as long unless you put it in the fridge and then it's not active anymore. So. I bought the einkorn flour to make dehydrated in case for some reason my sourdough starter for some reason would ever go off I would have dehydrated sourdough on hand and then I also think it's just nice to have on hand for people I know that want some you can give it away as gifts 
And so I figured I would go ahead and buy this. And if you are ever traveling, like flying on a plane, you can then take your sourdough starter with you. I did this last year when we went to South Africa for two and a half months. I dehydrated out. And what I mean by dehydrate is not in, even in the oven. You take your sourdough starter and you basically spread it out on parchment paper on a cookie sheet and you let it sit there for two days and it dries out and it turns into like sourdough crisp. And that is what I took with me to South Africa. I took it in a stasher bag on the plane in my backpack, had no problems, got to South Africa, rehydrated it, and I was able to make sourdough stuff there because I had my starter with me. So it works out great for traveling, especially if you're gonna travel somewhere and be there for a long time, you can take your sourdough starter with you. So that's why I got this was to get that going and have some of the dehydrated sourdough. And einkorn flour is a little bit expensive, but it's nice to have the einkorn because if you're gonna give it away as gifts, some people that are starting up on sourdough need a better quality, more heirloom flour and einkorn works for that. So you're giving them a good quality sourdough starter. This was a five pound bag for $19.64. It is expensive. I think it's very expensive. This is why I like grinding my own wheat berries with the mill rather than buying flour, but it works perfect for what I intend to use it for. Next up, I bought the organic broccoli. I saw this on sale for $2. And if you watch my cottage garden update video, you will know that I had a terrible time with cabbage and broccoli this year. None of it's, actually I have two cabbages growing and I think I might have four Brussels sprouts growing, but none of my broccoli made it because of the cutworms and the slugs. So when I saw this for $2, I was like, you know what, for $2, I'm gonna get it. So I'm gonna put this in the garden. I think cutworm season is over with and with the slugs, I'm just gonna put some sand around it to prevent the slugs from getting into it. And how cute, this one even has two little starts in it. So I got a bonus plant. This was $2.19 on sale. Next up was also a little bit of a mistake. <laughs> So this neem oil was on sale for $7.18. It's organic neem seed oil. So when I saw this, for some reason, in my mind, I was thinking it was neroli oil. And I have this facial oil that I got from South Africa that has bee propolis, royal jelly, beeswax, uh, and neroli oil in it and it smells so good it feels so luxurious on my skin it's wonderful and for some reason when i was looking at the sales column on the azure because that's each month normally what i do is first i click the sales and i go through their whole sales page and see if there's anything on sale and that's my way of searching if i need anything and then i'll look at their new items just to see what's new and then i will just walk around my house and see what i need and search those items and it's a quick way to go ahead and order so when i saw the neem oil i didn't for some reason in my mind i was thinking it was neroli so i added it to my cart and so as the time was approaching for my order to close i went back and looked at my cart and i saw this was in it and i realized it's neem oil not neroli but I was like, you know what, it's on sale. I'll just go ahead and order it. So here it is, I have it. I actually have no idea what I'm going to use this for. So if you ever use neem oil for anything, I'd love to know what you use it for. The suggested use is add a few drops to a carrier oil, shampoo, or lotion. Apply as needed. Neem is considered by many to be a miracle herb and has been used in Ayurvedic tradition for 5,000 years. The oil is cold pressed from the seeds of neem tree. No solvents or chemicals. Well, it looks like it was made well. I just have no idea what I would use this for. Probably maybe if I made my own lotion. That would be nice. And then the last item from this month. I was very excited about this. This was in the new items section and it is organic cotton fabric. Azure now sells organic cotton fabric. How amazing is that? So this is PFD cotton, which means prepared for dye. I just wanted the plain white one. I really wanted this because it was the cheapest fabric there and it's white. I can use this for many things. I wanted to feel the thickness of it because it said quilters level thickness, which I'm new to this sewing realm so i don't really know what that means so i was like you know what i'm just going to order it and see what it is so this was 10.97 for one yard of the organic cotton 
fabric, which I actually think is an amazing deal for organic cotton. If you are a sewer, you can now buy your fabric from Azure and you can make your own organic clothing with organic cotton. It's amazing. So I'm very excited about this. I do have some projects in mind for this, which I am very excited about. So yeah, that was 11, basically $11 for a yard of organic cotton white fabric. So that was my order from this month. Now last month, I ordered a box of the Azure Market coconut water. I accidentally ordered two boxes. So I think what I ended up doing was at the beginning of the month, I saw it in the new items and I got excited about it and I added it to my cart. And then right before my order went through, I went back and I added another one. So I ended up getting two boxes and it is the Azure Market King Coconut Water. And it is organic and you get 12 of the 11.8 fluid ounce bottles in glass for $18.30 for 12 of them. So when I broke down the price per ounce, cause usually I order the cartons of coconut water. When I broke down the price per ounce, this ended up being cheaper per ounce, getting the Azure Market organic King Coconut Water in glass bottles. And these glass bottles are adorable. They're so cute. The label comes off super easy. I've already gone through one entire box of these and you can see how clean the label comes off. You can use this for so many things. I have my dehydrated lemon basil in here and then you can use, I was thinking next time I make um, vanilla, homemade vanilla extract, I'll just put my vanilla beans in here and the vodka in here, screw the lid on. And then you could even give that as gifts for Christmas because it's such a cute bottle with the nice top. You could even cover the top with like a piece of fabric and put a ribbon around it if you're giving it as a gift because then it'll cover up. There is like a date stamp on there. There's so many things you can do with the glass bottles. You could even, if you make your own oils for your apothecary. You could put your plantain, dried plantain leaves in there, top it with some olive oil, and then you can use that plantain olive oil to make your own salve. I mean, there's endless things you can do with glass bottles, but it's perfect. So then you're not just buying these cartons with the coconut water, you're getting glass with it too. Glass is obviously going to be better for you. And the taste of the coconut water is it's delicious. You could drink this on its own and it's very refreshing. I make the adrenal cocktails, which is the coconut water, orange juice, and cream of tartar and salt. And that is so refreshing. We try to drink that nearly every morning and I end up splitting this. So I take half the bottle, Scott takes the other half, and then we make our adrenal cocktail with it and it works out perfect. So highly recommend this. And it's the Azure Market brand, which I like buying from their stuff because I think their standards are similar to our own family standards. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I will link that home economy video if you are interested in hearing how important it is for you to be thinking about your role in building your home economy. So I bless you and the rest of your day.